Sasha, and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, I picked up a bunch of, um, I guess they're plastic and fabric sort of thing, flowers. Cheap, cheap and cheerful flowers. Uh, these were just, I don't really know what made me pick them up, but I was like, I want to challenge myself and see if I can make these into cards. Well, not make them into cards, but incorporate them into my card making. Now they do have this plastic bit on the back, like for a little stem, but we're going to take care of that too. So when I was looking at these, obviously these are the colors, there's a decent range, but I decided that I would start off with some of the blue ones. I lean towards the color blue, I love blue. Now, the first thing that I need to deal with is the stalk, the stem on the base of the flowers. I'm going to cut this off because obviously these are going to go much flatter if I can just cut that off. Now, this makes them go pretty flat. I am going to discover something later on in the video about when you cut off the base. <laughs> but for the minute... It's a good thing, it's a good thing, I promise. For the minute, I want to add a little more dimension to these flowers, a little bit more color variation. So I'm taking some VersaFine Clear uh, ink, this is a pigment ink, and using a little fine brush to add some darker color just into the sort of center and then um, just sort of really fading it out a little bit onto the mid uh, part, midway part of the petals. This is obviously completely optional. You absolutely don't have to do this at all. But I will put one of these side by side for you. Uh, is, is obviously one done and one not done. And I quite like the look. So I just like that little bit of uh, added ink, added dimension. Now this is from Vicky Burton, the print shop collection. It is called the Floral Ephemera. And I have used up most of this package but I had these two left over because I wanted to do sort of a vine idea with these. Um, and obviously this ephemera is some of my most favorite because it does not have the white borders around any of the flowers, any of the leaves, anything that is in there. And I like it that way. Then I have these very, very random embossed uh, leaves that I had sitting in a little pile. And I thought, why not throw some of those on too? That'll be great. Now, for my sentiment, I wanted to go something down the blues road, and I am going to take just an alphabet stamp set. This one happens to be from Stamperia, and I believe this is one that Vicky P designed. Um, I love her videos. I love watching her mixed media uh, creations, and I am going to use this stamp set. This is an acrylic stamp set, so they have a really low price point, but they're still going to work perfectly. Now, I am using a Q there, you'll notice, for a placeholder <laughs> because um, I obviously need two P's in the word happy, but I want to get my placing and everything all perfect. So before I go ahead and ink, I need to remember to take that off. I am using Salty Ocean and Tumbled Glass to get a really smooth look on these acrylic stamps. I'm actually going to take a finger dauber to the stamp rather than using the ink pad on the stamp. I find I get smoother results when doing it this way and more kind of, uh, especially with the Distress Oxides, I definitely get a more solid stamping this way. Then I'm going to take the Salty Ocean and this is going to be the lower half of all of the letters. I did it a couple of times just to get a really nice impression and a smooth transition between the two colors. Then of course, once I am happy with that, I need to uh, take the P and repeat it uh, beside that as well. Now, maybe with this one, I could probably just buy two because I believe that the stamp set was only maybe six or so dollars US. So that's a pretty good price point for an alphabet stamp set. And I was thinking that obviously for times like this, when lots of words, you just need two of a letter. So I don't know, maybe this one's cheap enough that I could just buy two of them. Um, but in general, I wish some companies would come out with <laughs> just one alphabet stamp set that had two of everything. Uh, there are some out there these days that do two of the uh, like vowels or things like that. But anyhow, then I'm moving 
on to the birthday sentiments from Concord and Ninth because I just want a really simple uh, birthday word to go underneath the happy. The happy is pretty happy, it's pretty colourful, it's pretty funky, and so I'm happy with just a really plain uh, birthday sentiment to go underneath. So I'll use some Versavine Onyx Black Ink to get a gorgeous uh, crisp stamping there with a gorgeous black ink. Then I'm going to lift my whole card base and this is where I just need to snip the other ones of these off to make sure they're all nice and flat. I'm going to use a hot glue gun to adhere these down to my card. I just thought that would be the quickest way uh, rather than having to wait for a gel medium or matte medium to dry. Now with the vine I will use some liquid glue for these because that's really easy. I will cut off all the little excess pieces. Now I'm actually going to make another card for you. I'm going to get a couple of cards because once I was on a roll with these flowers, I was really starting to enjoy them and the ideas were starting to flow. So let me know, have you worked with these kind of flowers? Um, how do you incorporate them into your cards? Do you put them on your scrapbook layouts? Uh, do you, I guess that would be really cool in mixed media. Uh, particularly I can imagine, you know, painting them all black or all white and then using some... Um, you know, opal sort of uh, all sorts. I have to stop. I just <laughs> I have to stop because otherwise my mind will go down that road. Anyhow, I am just putting it three on. I did have more of the blue ones, but I felt like three was enough. And I didn't want to make this card super duper busy or I didn't want to make it super weighty. Now, I tried putting this into a store-bought uh, envelope that was meant for like four and a quarter by five and a half inch um cards and it fit just fine the flowers really squished down I mean obviously it didn't go completely flat because of the flowers but it certainly fit uh, not to the point where I thought anything was going to rip if someone was sort of quickly taking it in or out or anything so it actually wasn't tight at all of course it creates a little bit more bulk but nothing more than sort of any other card making I do I guess probably um, but depending on where you get them from and the shop and all those sorts of things uh, then you know some might be bulkier than others I will leave a link to these ones down below but truly they were just cheap and cheerful um little flowers so that is the first card done and dusted i'm going to leave it there i might even add a couple of little enamel dots later on or some nuvo drops but here is option number two now once i was playing with these i found that if you cut off the yellow bit the green bit also comes off. So I was cutting off the little yellowy stem thing uh, just, and then one of these little green stems fell off and that is just a whole lot better, even less bulk behind it. Now I wanted to create a heart shape out of these flowers. Now I drew myself a little heart. I didn't even uh, sketch it or get out a die to get it perfect. Then I'm going to again use my hot glue gun to glue on some of these flowers. Now. This one, I must admit, I was a little bit like, mm, are you going to even tell, be able to tell that it's a heart shape? Or does it just kind of look like a blob of flowers? But I am going to do a couple of little things to make sure that we know here. So I did use mainly the pinks and the purples. There's a couple of really light pinks, but there weren't too many of them. See this one just here. So I actually ended up sort of tucking a couple in um, just sort of underneath others. Uh, but mainly there were pinks and purples. So then I'm going to put a couple more and then one more in the side here. And then this is where I sort of was, you know, kind of looks like a heart but it kind of doesn't it kind of needed one up there but then if you put it up there it looked a little bit too bulky and full and so I'm just going to go with it because sometimes if I keep moving forward with a project it all works out even if I'm a little bit unsure now once I cut the side of these flowers off I was like hmm I think I can trim these let's see if we can continue around and trim a little bit of some of those uh, petals off not too much but just so that we define the shape and I think they still look fine it still look you know just like lovely flowers but we create a little bit more of that really ultimate heart shape and I think by the end of this you can definitely tell it was meant to be uh, in a heart shape you know coming off the edge of the page so there we go we're looking pretty good I am going to add a little sentiment to this one I'm popping it into my uh, platform here my stamp platform this has the little springs on it so it doesn't matter if 
if I have sort of a thick or a thin stamp or if I have some, um, you know, the flowers on there that create a little bit of bulk. This is the Spotlight Sayings from Pink and Main. This is love you more, but I actually don't want the word more. I just want the love you. And I also wanted to, I don't have too many pink inks, so I'm going to use some picked raspberry distress oxide ink. I do have one in the Versafine Clear, but it's just a completely different pink and I wanted it to go with the flowers. So this is kind of the closest one that I had. I give this a good little push and we get a pretty good impression and definitely no sign of that other word more down the bottom. Now, this is a lot of white space on the card around the heart, so I'm going to make the edge of the card base pink. Now I start off just using a finger dobber, but I want really saturated pink, so I'm going to go straight from ink pad to paper and use my little finger dobber to kind of smooth it out a little bit. I have a piece of paper there underneath so I don't get the back of my card at all or the inside. I can protect that. Once I've got that part done, I'm going to take this out and then I can just pop on my uh, top layer. Now I am not going to add any dimension or any foam tape behind this layer because the flowers already create a, a decent amount of dimension for the card. To finish it off, I am going to add a few little um, pink enamel dots. I'm going to add a few sparkly ones just around the outside. And with them being on a clear sheet, you can kind of audition them around the place to see where you think looks good if you struggle with placement. Um, and I sort of just move them about, but in general, I sort of go just a couple in sort of three different places on the card, give or take. You could also use enamel uh, dots, you could use Nuvo drops, you could use color pops, um, or you could just create your own confetti and use a little punch to create some too. So that is my video for today. I would love to know what you think of my cheap and cheerful flowers, including them and incorporating them onto my cards. Let me know how I did. I will leave links down below to any products used today, as well as a link to the Buy Me A Coffee in case you'd like to support my channel for the free videos that I produce on YouTube. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.